situation, try not ever walking out on the ice. Okay, new video. I'm gonna survive here for two nights and three days. The temperature is about minus five, minus ten Celsius right now. And the plans I have for today is to, from this tree here, about to here, I will build a reflector. The shelter right now is too big for me. So I'm gonna just, from the end of the shelter over there, build up a wall with uh, spruce branches and I will sleep like that instead of with my feet to the inside of the shelter
So I'm standing here next to a dead spruce tree and this spruce tree I will cut off the branches off and use as insulation for my shelter. Uh, now I will take the rest of the spruce branches to insulate the wall better on uh, the right side for you guys. Uh, it's a bit of uh, holes and stuff in it and uh, yeah, now when I'm sleeping alone in it I want it even more comfortable than it was uh, yesterday. So when it's cold outside it's so easy to forget to drink water. So now I'm going down to the creek or rather the lake uh, to fill up my metal container and start boiling water. Boiling water is the easiest way to get rid of all the bacteria and viruses and stuff in the water. So it's the safest way in a survival situation. Always boi boil your water if you have the, the right uh, tools for it. And there's a lot of ways to boil water. And I'm gonna show you four to five ways later today. I'm gonna start with the easiest one and it's boiling water in a metal container. I just stick it down in the water, fill it to the top and bring this to my camp. Like that. And now I will wait until it, it's boiling and when it start, started to boil with big bubbles I will count to two minutes and then I will have drinkable water. So the water has been boiling for two minutes with big big bubbles. So now uh, at least most of the bacteria and viruses are gone, so it's safe to drink. And that I will, I will let it cool, cool down for a bit, and uh, then I will have my pine tea. Okay, so I will show you two uh, more ways to boil your water. Uh, the first one is with uh, a Coca-Cola can. And the second one is in a PIT water bottle. Uh, it's the same procedures with a milk carton if you have one of those. So you can bo boil in both a water bottle and a, a milk carton. Okay, so I will start with this uh, PIT bottle. And there's two things you need to know before putting it on the fire. One. You need to fill it with water up to the top, otherwise it will melt. Two, you need to take the lid off, the corkscrew. It should like look like this. And then, I just put it by the fire and wait until it boils. And put it right there. Now, we'll, now I will let it cool off, and then I will have some more water to drink. One other thing uh, you could do to boil water 
in a survival situation is to boil in a plastic bag or a plastic bucket of some sort. I will use a plastic bag and you need to dig a hole, put in the plastic bag and you need stones that fits in the water and the bag. So I will put this stone into the fire and when it's hot enough I will put it in the water. And if I have a couple of stones like this I will put one in, when that one is cold I take it out, I put a new in and I, then I do that until the water has boiled for two minutes. So, and the stone has been in the fire for some time. Now I will use a stick to get it out of the fire and into this plastic bag with water in it. Uh, yep, it's hot and uh, the water or the plastic bag did not melt so I will grab my other stone as soon as it's done and then I think we will see some bubbles and then you just switch them out until the water have boiled for two minutes the last thing I'm gonna show you is, with, uh, is how to clean salt water and what I use is a metal container, in this case a gas bottle, a pipe of some sort, I use a hose this time, it works with metal pipes etc as well. And I need a container to collect the water in, and I will use this plastic bag. Um, how often do you find a gas cylinder in a survival situation? Well, I've done it once, I found this one. Uh, I also find, found one broken one on a tropical island survival I did uh, outside of the coast of Malaysia. Malaysia, but th that one was broken. Uh, you could use like the cylinder that uh, you use to uh, uh, push in the air in a lifeboat. That cylinder that does uh, that you could use, and that comes with a metal container, and it also have a transport line. But in that case, it's a metal pipe. The first thing I will do is to go down to the water and fill this one up to about one third of all the space inside. This takes five liters, so I will have about one and a half to two liters of water in this one. Fill it up to about a third. The next step is to get this bag onto this pipe. For this I will use the steel uh, steel thread I have. I put on the bag on the upper corner like this. Pull it in for a bit. And then close it with this steel wire. like this and I will have some more thread but I will leave a little bit here open so some of the air comes out of the bag so the bag doesn't go boom so a small hole that's the next step so I will do this and then I will bring this to the fire and you will see the rest from there so I put in the metal container 
right there. I build a little ramp for this uh, hose that goes into the plastic water bag. Uh, I also put some steel thread in here and hang it up in the tree there so it gets, gets this kind of pos position. We should wait, wait about uh, 20 minutes then the water should uh, begin to condensate. And then this bag will fill up with uh, steam from the water and the water will collect up here and make its way down to the bottom and we will collect water down here. So the bag has filled up with the condensated uh, water fumes and uh, I have the little hole here you see the fumes are getting out so the bag doesn't explode and if I tap up here I don't know if you can see it but the water rinse off and collects down here and it goes quite fast so it was on for about uh, 20 minutes and this much is what I get the only thing that's in this bag, except for water now, is what was in the bag before. Otherwise, this is really, really clean water. Uh, in 20 minutes, I got, what could this be? Maybe one and a half, two, max three deciliters of water. Which is quite good for, uh, let's say, 30 minutes of uh, work and 20 minutes on the fire. Okay, the time is about 4 o'clock, uh, it will get dark in one, one and a half hour, so my next priority is to uh, just keep uh, gathering firewood, so I last the whole night. I don't want to risk uh, getting up in the middle of the night just because the firewood runs out. So now I'm out looking for the right firewood. Uh, I'm looking for these old uh, trees uh, that's still standing and when I saw them off I should smell uh, the sap. Those trees are really good, they burn really good, both long and very hot. So I'm looking for those trees. So I will keep doing that until I find them. So I kept gathering firewood and I have some water on the fire. Yeah, in the metal container. I have like 10 3 to 4 meter trees. Uh, pretty dry. Some of them are really dry. Except down there where there's snow. But I move them into the fire. I also have firewood here as well. Uh, these small ones. I will put on uh, during the night. The big ones I will uh, use as much as possible. The small ones is just to restart the fire or give it an extra go to get the big ones going. Okay, so it's starting to get really dark. It's uh, just before 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I will uh, just sit here by the fire, dry my gloves, dry my socks, dry my pants, and just dry everything I can.
all so yeah I reckon I stay up for about two more hours and uh, then I go to bed so yeah nine or a bit after nine I will go to bed today So, my socks are dry and very very warm I will sit up for a bit longer just enjoy the fire enjoy my warm uh, pine needle tea and uh, yeah just reminiscing about life I have as I said before enough firewood to last me the whole night uh, I think my fire will die during the night though because I think I will sleep really good in my sleeping bag so I probably won't wake up until tom tomorrow morning I'm quite warm now and yeah I'm just enjoying this so, I just went down to my sleeping bag, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm about ready to sleep. Uh, I will show you my setup. Uh, so I have my sleeping bag, and on my feet I have the big plastic bag. On my upper body, I will have my uh, jacket. It takes rain, so my sleeping bag and me will stay dry so the fire I just put on a lot of logs so it will be burn slow but give me some heat for a long time my plan is to go up uh, around 9 o'clock maybe uh, so I get a lot of hours of sleep because I need my energy since I haven't been eating anything yet so yeah, hoping for fish tomorrow, uh, otherwise I'll go hungry, but I've done it before, I can do it again. So I just woke up, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, my fire is out. It doesn't it don't look like it's snow though, so it, the logs seem to be dry and yeah, it will be easy to start again. I'm gonna try to sleep some hours more though without the fire. Uh, I've been really warm tonight in my sleeping bag and I am dry. So yeah, I will sleep a couple of more hours. Uh, then I'll go up. I overslept time is now almost 10 o'clock so I will just lie here and get ready to get up Let's try it out. Uh, I haven't slept a lot tonight. 
I got uh, no sleep between 3 and 4. Then I peed in a, this bottle. 